Matthew chapter 9 verses 1 to 8. Matthew chapter 9 verses 1 to 8. He got verses 1 to 8. He got back in the boat, crossed the water and came to his hometown. And suddenly some people brought him a paralytic stretcher on a bed. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, Take comfort, my child. Your sins are forgiven. Seeing their faith. Now, I want to say something very, very interesting, very exciting, very important. We all ask the miracles. The biggest, the best, the greatest miracle we can ask for is repentance of sin, forgiveness of sin, and take me up to the master. But I guess because we are humans, we are the lower level orders, as Maslow will tell us. Food, water, clothing, shelter, physical comfort. Give me this, give me that, give me this. But Jesus said this particular healing, this particular miracle from Matthew chapter 9 verses, we only reach the second verse, tells us, he makes it abundantly clear what is the greatest miracle. Suddenly some people brought him a paralytic stretched out on a bed. I mean, you bring a man a paralytic. The obvious is that he wants to walk and jump and dance. Seeing their faith, no words, nothing at all. Jesus said to the paralytic, take comfort, my child, your sins are forgiven. That's the biggest miracle. So next time you go to the Lord and ask your prayers, ask him, to forgive you of all your sins, your numerous sins, sins of your youth, sins that you have committed, sin, sins of omission. Ask the master to forgive you of all your sins. And once you, the master forgives you of all your sins, well, we need a physical, um, what you call it, um, healing. But the sins, forgiveness of sin precedes all the great miracles of the master. Tomorrow we continue with the same story from Matthew chapter what Matthew chapter 9 verses 1 to 8